Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. Today we'll be replacing the battery used for saved games in a Game Boy cartridge. Pokemon Red to be precise. We'll also be creating a backup of the save file and reloading it to the cartridge using a Retron 5. First, we'll load up our game on the Retron 5 and download the save file. Now this is the first time I've used this game on this Retron, so it will automatically download the save file. If this feature is turned off, or you want to make sure you have the most current save file, you can download it manually by going to the game menu, then down to save copy to Retron, and then it'll ask you to make sure that you want to overwrite your current save game. To that we say yes. Now we're set to bring the game cart over to the workbench. From here we'll open up the cartridge using the 3.8mm Nintendo security bit. I have a link down in the description for a small kit if you don't have one. Now the front of the cart will slide down to reveal the game board. Here we see the battery that will be replaced. It is a CR2032 with the tabs on. It's hard to find just one for sale, so I've picked up a bulk pack. They're cheaper per battery that way, and I've done a lot of these, so I go through them pretty quick. Now we'll go ahead and desolder the old battery. If you're like me, and don't have a desoldering station or anything, a little bit of flux and some desoldering wire will do the trick. Now be careful not to overheat the battery. I hear nothing good can come from that. After we have the battery off, we can go ahead and clean up the solder joints with some isopropyl alcohol. Now I didn't use a lot, so it will dry pretty quickly. I'm just going to touch up the solder joints before adding the new battery. From here, we'll figure out the polarity of the battery and figure out which way it'll go onto the board. See, here's the positive on the battery. And that's the positive on the board. That's the negative. Now we'll get the tabs bent the way we'll need them to make contact with our board. Trim off a little bit of the extra tab and go ahead and solder on the new battery. After that, we'll clean up with some more isopropyl alcohol. While we have it out, we might as well clean up the connectors. For that, we'll use a drafting eraser. Now I didn't realize until after filming, but I moved the board out of the shot. Here you just rub the eraser across the connections until you can see them shine like new. We'll just grab a new Q-tip and some more alcohol to do the finishing touches on the cleanup. Dry it off. Now we're ready to put the cartridge back together. Once we're done with that, it's back to the Retron 5 to upload our saved file. We'll go back to the game menu and select the bottom option this time. Copy save to cart. From there we'll select yes. And we're done. We have now replaced our battery without losing our progress in game. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can follow me on Twitter at RetroKevin3 and Instagram at RealRetroKevin. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as it helps out me and the channel quite a lot. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.